Hi, my name is Konstantin Magnus. In this Houdini tutorial, we are going to interpolate a height field through a set of points or curves. So in Houdini, let's set up a height field and shrink it down to a size of 12 by 12. We're going to give it a higher resolution by setting the grid spacing to 0.05. And now we want to directly write into the height field. So if you look at the geometry spreadsheet, in the primitive class, you can see we have two primitives. One is named height and the other is called mask. So let's use a volume wrangle to write into the height field. F at height equals, let's say, the length of sine of V at P. And you should see a cushion-like shape. So this seems to be working. And we want to now come up with a input geometry, which is going to shape our height field. I make the top radius small and the base rather large and give it a overall radius of four and a height of four as well. We can add a few rows and for visualization purposes, you could also change the connectivity to let's say rows, just proving the point. This can be anything that has points. So curves, point clouds or polygons would all work in that way that their points are being read into the volume wrangle. Let's promote all point positions into an array. So we are going to take position P and promote it to the detail class using the array of all as promotion method and change its name to pause. If you now switch over to the detail class in your geometry spreadsheet, you should see all point positions stored in one array. Let's connect this to the second input of the volume wrangle and get rid of that line of code. Instead, we want to ac access the array. So I set up a vector pause using brackets. And now we use the detail function, which reads in the positions from the second input. With a for each loop, we read in each position vector p from our array pause. And then we can do some calculations. I will want to know the distance from each voxel to those points. So I use the square distance function v at p and I need a flattened version of the position. So instead of just using P, which would be the world position of our tube points, I rather set it to P dot X. I ignore the height, so I will just set it to 0.0, .0 and I will also use the third vector component P dot Z. So what we now measure is not the distance from the height field to the 3D version of this cone, but rather its flattened version. So we're just measuring the distance on the plane. I also would like to know the weight, which would be translated as the importance of this point. So we want to calculate the distance again, 1.0 over d times d times d is the formula I'm choosing. You can look into, for example, the radial basis functions of the SciPy interpolate module. They come up with a bunch of RBF functions. So I've chosen one uh, that looks good and has a rather smooth result, I think. And what we want to do with this with weight is accumulated. So let's uh, set up a float called weight and initialize it with zero. We also want to accumulate height values. So let's set up a, another float. And now inside the loop, we want to uh, add to the weight w. And we also want to add all the heights. So height plus position y, that's the height we have ignored here, multiplied by w. 
And now when we have looped over all these weights and heights, we can then assign it to f at height and set it to height divided by weight. That would be it. We can now start playing and see how a quadratic function would look like or a cubic function or a quintic function and so on. But for what I want to do, it's just d times d times d. Now feel free to add more points or more curves. And with this technique, you can make sure that your height field is always flowing through these input curves. Thank you for watching.